Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Could you tell me about your interest in aviation? Yeah, I would like to be a commercial pilot since I was a child. I have done my first flight uh, when I was nine uh, months old, but I don't remember anything about that flight. Um, I, when I was younger, I used to fly with my father in our ultralights, but uh, uh, in 2008, my father um, uh, got ill, so we uh, stopped flying with uh, our ultralights and we started to modify it. And now I'm flying with uh, um, one of my friends, one of my uh, pilot friends, that and she uh, brings me um, where I would like to fly, and uh, he um, um, teach me how to fly as well. And why did you want to be a pilot? Um, I would like to be a pilot because it's my dream, uh, as I said before, since I was a child. And uh, um, I think that is uh, the only job I could do. Um, also because uh, uh, when you really like a job, I think uh, you have more a chance to do it better. And uh, I think uh, that for this reason, I could be a better pilot instead of other, other one. Do you enjoy some flights more than others? Yeah, I prefer uh, maybe um, short haul flights because uh, uh, the um, landing and takeoff procedures are more. Uh, um, uh, there are more uh, takeoff and more landings during the uh, day of a pilot. So uh, the moment where you really fly and you really have the control stick in your hand. Uh, are more than in uh, uh, long haul flights when because in long haul flight uh, you really uh, put on the uh, uh, automatic pilot and then the aircraft fly on its own. How will your flying change in the future? I, um, as I said before, I would like to improve uh, my um, uh, my uh, pilot skill. Uh, because uh, now I'm flying with ultralight pilots, with, with ultralight aircraft. I would like, uh, during my training, I will uh, uh, fly with uh, uh, certified, certified uh, planes, such as uh, um, Cessna 172, 182, and PA, Piper PA-28, and also Piper PA-24, that is a um, twin uh, propeller uh, aircraft. And maybe in the next three years, I uh, would like to be a first officer of uh, maybe a uh, Boeing 737 or an Airbus A320. Now I'd like to ask you some questions about aviation communication. Before takeoff, what do pilots discuss about the flight? Um, before the takeoff, uh, the pilot discuss about the weather condition. They uh, usually read uh, the meta, the meteorological uh, reports done by the uh, air traffic controller, and they discuss uh, about. Uh, um, uh, maybe the whites and the balances of uh, an airplane and how to um, collocate the passenger because, uh, for example, a captain can uh, um, change your seat during a flight um, for uh, balancing uh, purpose. Why is it important to... to consider the balance of the aircraft? Uh, because uh, uh, if the balance... Uh, of an air, of an aircraft is outside of a certain range, you cannot uh, take off, uh, or uh, the takeoff could be really dangerous. 
And what about the weather? Why is weather something that pilots talk about? Uh, uh, for example, uh, they uh, take in con- see, they consider uh, the wind uh, condition uh, and um, to choose uh, the best runway, uh, to choose the best runway. And um, for this reason, uh, no, um, they have to, cha- to choose uh, the runway with uh, uh, more uh, um, uh, tile, wi- more uh, less tile wings. <laughs> okay. Which factors sometimes make clear communication difficult? Uh, for, I think that uh, maybe the pronunciation of uh, stranger people uh, can uh, um, can cause uh, can be the cause of uh, misunderstandings and something like that. So uh, I think that you have to uh, try to have a good pronunciation and maybe to speak slowly. Uh, also for the native English speaker. Um, for example, I'm thinking to air traffic controller that speak really fast, and I think that they uh, would uh, speak slowlier uh, because uh, um, uh, so in this case everyone could can understand them. If there's a radio malfunction during flight, what would you do? Uh, first of all, I uh, put the uh, number on the um, transponder. So uh, the air traffic controller can understand from the screen of uh, his um, computer that uh, uh, the plane uh, are having uh, uh, radio problems. And then maybe uh, I'll try to uh, contact other aircraft that are uh, um, closer uh, to me than uh, air traffic controller uh, towers. What, what's a transponder and why do you need to change the number? Uh, the transponder is a, a device that is installed in the uh, um, aircraft and the transponder transmits uh, uh, information uh, between uh, the aircraft and the air traffic controller. And if you put, uh, I don't remember exact the uh, exactly number, but if I... I guess that is uh, 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 7,600. The um, air traffic controller uh, can see, um, as I said before in uh, the screen of his PC, um, that you have a radio uh, malfunction and you can uh, contact him talking normally. If you cannot understand an ATC message, what would you do and what would you say? I will uh, ask for a repetition and I will uh, uh, say to the air traffic controller, please say again. Okay, thank you. We'll now move on to part two.